in order to really build a business, you need two things, clarity. The other thing you need is control. Clarity over your plan and your progress, control over your people and your process. This right here, this is where you get freedom. Freedom is not about, hey, I'm gonna go to my kid's soccer game, but I'm gonna sit there on my phone the whole time, responding to stuff, worrying about stuff, clocking out crews, dealing with whatever is going on. So I wanna make sure you guys are equipped with where you wanna go, what you wanna do, and have the, you know, the, the principles to come back to. You're gonna feel unstoppable. You know, if you've ever felt, you know, out of control, or you've ever felt unclear about where you're going, it's because in order to really lead, in order to really build a business, you need two things, okay? You need, number one, clarity, all right? You need clarity. If you don't have clarity, you can't lead. The other thing you need is control, okay? So you need clarity on your plan and your progress. Right? What's your strategy? What's your plan? What do you like? What's the vision? What are you working on? Right? What's the plan to get there? You need to be clear on that. Right? Otherwise, like when you think about the days and you feel overwhelmed and you feel stress and you feel uncertainty or you feel a lack of confidence moving forward on something, that's the natural side effects of not having the clarity that you need. Right? Or not knowing the progress that you're making. You don't know your numbers, right? You don't have a way to keep track of your team and how they're executing on the projects. Are the things getting done, right? The strategy that you laid out, the leadership and the execution you put in place, is it getting done? Is it happening? Do you have clarity on your plan and your progress, right? Then you've got to have control, right? Because look, freedom is not about Freedom is not about, hey, I'm going to go to my kid's soccer game, but I'm going to sit there on my phone the whole time, responding to stuff, worrying about stuff, clocking out crews, dealing with whatever is going on or, or going on vacation, but meanwhile, really working the whole time or stressing and worrying about work the whole time, right? And it's because you, you feel a, a lack of control, right? In business, you must have a sense of control, Period. These are your dials, clarity and control. These, like if you're going to be the pilot of a plane, let me ask you this. Would you want to get on a plane where the pilot doesn't have clarity, can't see where he's going and has no control? No, absolutely not. You know, would you want to get behind the wheel of a really fat of a race car and not have the dials to be able to tell, do I have the clarity and do I have the control? Right. So, you know, sometimes people don't oh, control, don't be a control freak. Look, in business, all any anytime you feel unsettled about things, oh, they're going to do it right. What's going on? It's because you, you just don't have the control, right? And so we get the control and what we need control on in our business is our people and our process. Right. And so how do you get control over that? You set up systems in your business. The people train, you train them to run the systems using processes that you have. Okay. So you need clarity. You need control. That's it. I want you to like write that down. Clarity and control. Make sure you write this down. Clarity over your plan and your progress. Control over your people and your process. Those two things, right? If you come back to this, you're like, okay, what do I want in my life? All right, am I lead, am I, am I, are my actions today leading me towards that? If not, you know, you literally turn the other way and, and go the other direction, right? You're doing something that's leading you away from it. Okay, what's the opposite? Okay, go that, go that way, right? You know, you want to lose 20 pounds, but, you know, you're, you're putting a triple bacon cheeseburger in your mouth, <laughs> you know, just go the other way, do something different, right? You want to scale your business, but you're, you're not taking the time to build your team and, and build your systems, all right? You go the other way. 
It's like, it sounds simple, right? And maybe at first it feels hard to do, but eventually it's like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going towards what I want. Right. And then with the vision, right. These, you remember this, if you're feeling lost, all right, what's the vision? What am I after here? What do I want? What's the strategy to get there? Okay. How do I deploy my team to make it happen? And what's the plan to get it executed? Then do I have clarity and do I have control? Right. This right here, this is where you get freedom. This is your freedom formula right here. Okay. This is your freedom formula. So when you have clarity and you have control in your business, what this gives you This gives you confidence, all right? The missing ingredient in order to really move forward and go after the life that you want is confidence. Not like cocky confidence type of thing, no. Feeling good and secure about where you're going, what you're doing, your plan, your progress, your people, your process. You've got clarity. You've got a sense of control. You're gonna feel confident. You know, you're going to feel confident to open that next office. You're going to be able to feel confident to take on that next, you know, you want to start franchise and take, start franchise. You're going to feel confident to go away for two weeks, a month. You're going to feel confident to move to Italy, which you'll hear from somebody tomorrow and still have their business running smoothly while you follow your dreams, right? This is how you get freedom. Right. But the true freedom, you need one other piece here. It's competence, skill. Right. We need skill. That's why we're here. Right. That's what we're doing is we're, we're gaining competence. We're getting better at things. You know, you might say, Lewis, this all sounds great, but I don't know how to do that. OK. Right? We established yesterday, everybody here has got a growth mindset because you're here. You're like, let me grow. Let me learn. Let me adopt new ways of doing things. Right? Let me gain competence. You know, on your, on your what do I want my life under personal growth should always be working on at least one skill you're looking to develop. One skill personally, one skill in business, always. Right. And when you develop that skill, you get another skill, like maybe one of the skills like, hey, I'm, I'm going to finally learn how to work my numbers. That's a skill I need to learn. I'm going to finally learn how to be a leader and lead my team. Right. I'm going to finally learn how to conduct meetings. I'm going to finally learn how to set up systems and processes and do the things I need to do. I'm going to finally learn to play the guitar. I'm going to finally learn to have good conversations with my spouse instead of arguing all the time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn how to do that because I understand that that's a skill that I wasn't just born with, right? That's what we got to look at. We got to look at everything in life and say, you know what? Remember, moving CEO mindset, if they can, I can. I'm responsible for my results. When I improve, my business improves. When I gather skills, Everything you're learning here, everything you're getting, these are skills that you're getting. Wherever you're, wherever you're going to apply them, you're gaining competence, right? And in psychology, there's something called the confidence, competence loop. And what that means is the more confident you get, the more willing you are to go gain more competence. The more competence you get, like what you're learning this weekend, what you're gathering this weekend... You're like, oh, wow, I feel more confident because now I've got the skills. I know how to do it. First time you got in a car and went on the highway, you didn't feel too sure about yourself, right? But you practice it and you got better. You got more confident. So you decided to drive more. You went a little bit further. You went a little bit faster. You got better. You got more confident. You got better. You got more confident, right? That's how the loop works. It builds upon each other. So when you have this, because now this is a total mindset, right? Like this is like, I've got clear. I know I, get, I need the clarity. I need the control. I got it. I'm working towards it. I've got the confidence now. 
And I know and trust in myself that if there's anything I don't know, no problem. There's, I could go find out how to do it. I could go learn how to do it, right? And that right there, that's where you get ultimate freedom. Not just freedom from the day-to-day of the business, not just freedom to go on vacation, emotional freedom from the worry, the stress, the overwhelm. What should I do? What should I do? I'm unsure what's going on. Clarity and control, clarity and control, clarity and control, right? You could run your entire business if you make sure you've got these two things, right? These two things, this is your operating strategy, right? This is your, you know, when you, you kind of put on your, this is you as an individual. What do I want? Okay. What do I want in my life? Got it. Let me put my CEO hat on right now. What's, what am I going to do? What's the vision for my business? All right. What's the vision for the next 12 months of my business? What's the strategy? How am I going to deploy my team? How am I going to execute? Okay. Now I'm going to put on the COO hat, the chief operating officer, the one that's going to run the business, the one that's going to make sure that they're in control of the business. Do I have clarity? Do I have control? If not, what do I need to do to gain clarity? What do I need to do to get control? That right there, you know, we're going to talk about the how to's. I'm not just going to leave you with this concept, right? But you've got to grasp that. You got to come back to that because I know, look, there's times you get in the weeds, you get in the trenches of your business, of life. They, look, life happens. Business happens. Problems happen. Challenges pop up. Distractions, right? You come back to these things, it grounds you, it centers you, it puts you in a place of strength to be able to proceed because you need to be in a place of strength. You need to be able to feel that confidence daily to do what you need to do. Doesn't mean you won't make mistakes. Doesn't mean you won't fail. Right. But you'll understand that that failing is part of gaining competence. When we talked about resolving uh, customer complaints, the last thing was, right, correct it internally. Right. So when it happens, you're like, hey, no, we're just going to correct that. We're going to learn how to fix it. Now you're more confident in your crews. You're more confident in your company. When you start improving the operation, you're going to you're going to want to like really, you know, beef up your sales team like guys go go sell because we do an excellent job right so you start gaining that confidence daily you're gonna feel unstoppable right and and not in an egotistical way you know i want to make that clear right we all need this healthy this this right here is what's going to help you get to that ultimate life you need to believe in yourself you need to release the doubts Right. But a lot of people be like, oh, release your doubts, believe in yourself. Okay. Well, this is the stuff that's preventing us from really getting there, especially owning a business. Right. This is a, I was, I was, my wife saw me do this and she's like, wow, I, I need that just to run the household. Right. So it's not just business. Right. This is, this is life. So I want to make sure you guys are equipped with where you want to go, what you want to do, and have the, you know, the the principles to come back to. Hey, my friend, before you go, you've got to hurry and watch these next few videos over here. They will absolutely help you take your moving company to the next level. Go watch them now, and I'll see you over there.